Hello everyone, today we're going to open and build this 2024 LEGO Marvel set Spider-Man vs. Sandman Final Battle So this is a set based on the movie Spider-Man No Way Home Contains 347 pieces and we get 80 new cent dollars Without further ado, let's open it up and start building
I have finished building this Spider-Man vs. Sandman final battle. It's actually quite an interesting build. You can see Sandman here looking really lively and probably a little bit too aggressive. Uh, you got the same uh, base plate as the two other uh, Marvel Diorama set with three, min three minifigures and of course another portal. Obviously the sell point is definitely the Lisa minifigure because the other two minifigures are a duplicate from the earlier set and you can see they're actually a pretty good um, display model with a view of 360 degrees and this is exactly why I uh, went for the uh, speed build video because by the build itself there's nothing much to talk about um, you, know, you can see spider-man hang around here uh, but the good thing about um, this uh, sandman uh, well brick build sandman is that the lots of you know, articulation point you can see uh, the neck can do like this uh, even the the arm there's like multiple movement you can do uh, you know play around with the fingers and uh, here you've got a, a different view uh, because you know Sandman can uh, change its form um, to whatever form he's, he wants and you can see his attack with a uh, bigger hand with the hair fingernails which I think this is very detailed and on this one just a uh, very simple hand where it can grab something. The surroundings around Sandman is uh, following uh, the other you know building techniques and design so you can actually you know remove these parts and even Sandman and then combine with the earlier Spider-Man final battle set and of course you know Sandman can also uh, change its position like this as well. Before I combine Sandman to the other's final battle set that I have, we first take a look at the three mini figures. So Spider-Man and Electro obviously uh, the same as the previous version. So if you want to know more about these two mini figures, you know, check out my video on the Spider-Man final battle. Electro just has, has a different on his uh, effect. This one is a uh, much more smaller setup, but you know, the mini figure is the same. Uh, but of course, the sell point of this set is this exclusive uh, Lisa mini figure. So this was the only character and Sandman kind of, you know, missing from the previous set. Otherwise, that would be in the perfect set. Anyway, so has uh, Lisa has very detailed printing both on the torso and the legs, which is very rare for a Marvel mini figures on, you know, uh, not the collectible mini figure series. So most of the Marvel set usually have no leg printing, you have this tail here, very detailed back printing and a very um, you know sinister looking uh, facial expressions. The only comment I have is despite this is a very excellent mini figure, I wish um, they use a big fig or slightly bigger size of Lisa just to represent uh, the size of the character from the movie. So we have the Spider-Man Final Battle set here in order to combine two sets together. It's very easy, you just remove the top of the uh, Statue of Liberty and then pull Sandman out and then just place him inside. But of course, uh, there's some, you know, obstacles uh, just next to uh, him. But pretty much this is how you can put him inside. And regarding the other parts of the build, of course, you want to add another portal again you can just pull it out because you know in the uh, spider-man final battle set there's a uh, additional uh, hole here that you can just uh, put here inside and then you have this part here uh, to show um, you know the other portal and you can place this at there as well and obviously there's another part uh, there's some other uh, connection here that you can actually you know put here but i need to go figure it out because uh, the instruction doesn't actually show you but you can easily have this pull out and then place it uh, somewhere in the set as well and this is the spider-man versus sandman final battle set with the uh, spider-man no way home final battle combined these are the parts that you need to take it out for sandman to be a uh, securely uh, set up on the uh, Statue of uh, Liberty. Um, in terms of the uh, Sandman I think, you know, if it's a standalone set, it's actually pretty good. Uh, but given that um, it's actually an extension of the set released previously, it's just a little bit uh, too pricey in my opinion because retail at 
eighty new zen dollar. This is exactly why I think they have a salmon design with this facial expression. Having said that, you do get an excellent lizard minifigure, and of course Spider Man and Electro. Other than that, if you're a fan of the movie or the MCU, this is a must-have set. Otherwise, you know there's no need to actually get the Sandman if you already have the final battle set. Unless, of course, you want to create this scene over here. Do let me know what you think about this set in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming updates. Don't forget to like this video as well, and I'll see you next time.